Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura. This is Ash Alec Art. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing a $5 Dollar Tree meal to feed four. Um, I just wanted something like easy, like comfy food and I didn't want to try to stretch it so far because I don't want to eat it for eight days. Let's be honest. So today I'm doing a meal for four and it turns out really well. Um, my four ingredients are a four pack of bagels, a pack of the stir fry um, peppers and onions, um, one uh, John Merle smoked sausage. I picked up the hot, doesn't matter which one you use. And the last ingredient was a bag of straight cut french fries. This one hit home, like it just hit the spot so well. So I'm going to take you to my kitchen. We're going to get it all done. I'll show you the, the stuff that I bought and um, I'll show you how it turns out. But don't worry, it's delicious. All right, so I got my little trays out. I don't know if I need two of them exactly. But I'm going to go ahead and start the french fries in the air fryer. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do two. So I'm just gonna layer them. One here. Single layer as best I can. So I'm going to throw these into the air fryer. We'll do 400. I'll set it for 14 minutes. And then I have my pan, but we're going to get the other stuff ready. So besides the french fries, I have pepper stir fry. So it's yellow, red, and green bell peppers. Yellow onion, red, yellow, and green bell peppers. Um, hot smoked sausage, and then bagels. So we're making a meal for four tonight. <laughs> I'm going to cut up the sausage and sear it first. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And I'm doing four sandwiches. So I think how I'm gonna cut it is first I'm gonna do four sections like this. And then I'm gonna cut them all in half. And then each sandwich will get about four of the, the you know, four halves. And then once I get these kind of cooked up, I will remove them and cook the peppers. And I also want to toast the bagels. So first I got these over here and I just put them all down with the cut side down. And then I'm going to open up all of the bagels and toast them. I don't like them super toasty. And I probably won't. I don't want to. I'll do them all. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. They'll work perfect for leftovers that way, I'm sure. Alright. So, I'm just splitting the bagels. I can toast two at a time, so I'm going to toast two. I'm going to let those brown for a minute. Um, I'm going to grab a plate while I go toast these so that when those have been um, browned up enough, then I will put them on a plate and cook up the vegetables. I kind of started flipping them, and that's kind of what I want, is them to get like a little bit crispy, browned. 
kind of like you were grilling it. So I'm going to let this go for a minute more, and then I will take them out. And I just got a paper plate to stick them on. And I'm not going to cut the, um, oops, my first bagels are done. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm pulling this off. And I'm going to get the peppers in. And I didn't. Um, I didn't chop them or anything. It's very onion heavy. That's a good thing. I love onions. Um, sometimes these packs have really big pieces, so I just thought that if there were any pieces that were too big, I can cut them with my spatula. So. To this, I'm just going to do my standard salt and pepper, and then I'll probably do some garlic powder and onion powder. Salt. Pepper. bagels just popped. Um, I'll show you what I already did. I already put a bagel with the four pieces in two of the containers and then I'm gonna have one for dinner tonight so I'll have three containers. I'm trying to get this water to cook out so we can get some color on these veggies and I just tossed the fries so we can see if they're going to be done in time. I'm going to grab the um, other two bagels and get the meat onto those and I'll be right back. All right, so these are starting to evaporate all of that liquid and get cooked down. So this will be my plate for tonight and I have the four pieces plus the bagel. We're going to layer the peppers and onions onto the bagels and then serve it with some fries. This might not be one that's going to feed a whole army, but it'll feed a family of four and it should be really delicious. So I'm just going to chop some of these little pieces up. That might be kind of big bites. There wasn't any of the really big, big pieces like there normally is, so that was good. Alright, so now that most of the water is out, I do want to grab a fork and test my seasoning. Just need an onion. Salt. A little bit more pepper. And a sprinkle more garlic. I don't like under seasoning. I'd rather it be over seasoning. But I also don't like to necessarily purposely over season. So, all right. So. 
Looks like the fries are pretty close to done. They can, I got three minutes left. I might let them go all that way. And then we will divide this all out. But these look pretty sauteed. If you had cheese, this would be an amazing use for it. Um, to add on to here. I have like the perfect cheese in my fridge for it, provolone. And I may add a piece at the end to mine um, for tonight, but I want to be authentically showing you what I bought. And that I drop everything. All right, so I'm gonna call this good. And then we're gonna divide it into the four. So one. And these should heat up well. Like I said, if you had cheese, this would be, cheese would be an amazing addition to these. Um, but for $5, the cheese at Dollar Tree is definitely not worth wasting a, an ingredient on when you have the ability to have an ingredient that's more filling. So, more on each of them. So that's all divided up into those four meals. And this is gonna stop any second. Right there. Oh yeah. So these are the fries. That's one tray. I'm gonna mix them both together. And then we're going to, oh, don't put that on the counter. We're gonna salt them. Because fries without salt, what is that? Um, we're gonna put the tops on the sandwiches. And while reheated french fries may not be your favorite thing, I don't have an issue with it because I do have an air fryer and I will use my air fryer for them. So I'm gonna put about equal amounts in each container. I'm moving fries. I cleaned my kitchen to make it a mess. All right, oh, I keep dropping them. Don't be like me, use a hot pad. All right, so, and then of course I dropped a couple over here. All right, so four meals of peppers and onions with sausage and french fries. Like I said, this would be really good to put cheese on. And I have some provolone, which would be amazing on this. I took a piece of cheese and I set it on here onto that all that hot stuff. And like had it melt like that, that would, I think would be the topper to make this the perfect meal. Mmm. Fries are pretty good. Better than I expected. Alright, hold on. Because I was not thinking and I put my cheese on there, I'm going to take the cheese off and try it just as it is. Mmm. Mmm. 
That's pretty good. I'm gonna put the cheese back on. Mmm. I must have for some sausage and peppers and onions though. All right, let's share a bite with cheese. Mmm. So good. I need to salt my fries a little more. But this is a winner. Try this. Friends, that meal surprised me how good it is. I mean, so simple, so delicious. The cheese did help a little bit. It was really good, though. So, please, 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 um, like, subscribe, share my channel so you can help my channel grow. I hope that I am back on the swing of things. I think that, um... I'm feeling better. It's spring break, so I should be able to get caught up and maybe a little bit ahead on filming and not be so overwhelmed with life. Um, but yeah, this, my plate is empty. I did eat ketchup with my fries. Um, it was so good. If you subscribe or you're a new subscriber, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to chat with you. Um, I just... I am very excited and hope that um, I'm almost at my one year anniversary and I just hope that everything just grows and gets better and, and life goes on, right? All right, friends, I will see you again soon. I have several other videos.